This is on how to tape Bouvet Puppy's ears. You need to buy skin bonding glue that you could get at a pharmacy or Nature's Pharmacy. And this is tape also that I get at Nature's Pharmacy. And it can buy it at a drugstore for it's a sports tape. And this tape it's breathable. here is breathable cloth tape with little holes in it for the puppy's ears and it's not very sticky. Then you get mole foam. You can buy Dr. Scholl's mole foam at any drugstore and it's mole foam not mole skin at Walmart. You are to cut the puppy's ears, trim the mole foam, the shape of the puppy's ears like a triangle. That's what I usually do. Since this puppy has a little bit longer ears, I'm going to go longer. And I'm going to do a triangle here. Okay, guy. Then I'm going to cut the edges here so I could insert it in the puppy's ears. It's okay, stop. And then cut this edge here and this edge as well. So that's what it's going to look, look like. Triangle. Can you please hold the puppy's head? Then you are going to take your skin bond glue and you are going to go inside the ears like this. You are going to peel off this mole foam because it has a sticky side. You're going to take your glue and you're going to do this at the back of this mole foam. I, usually, I take my thumb and I put it in the ear like this and it does not hurt. It's just bothered some from him. And you're going to stretch the ear and I see it just came out a little bit. I'll take this and I'm going to put it in the ear. Stretch it with my left hand and then press on it. And I'm going to make it go out like airplane wings, like this. You do not want this to go over the head. You want it, see? It's going over the head now. You're going to pull it back and make sure it goes the other way. So I just reinforce that. See, and this puppy here had a, has a kink in the ear. Some people will say, oh, my puppy's ears are up. No, they're not because you have a sinker or else a kink in the ear and you want that up higher. You want that sinker up high. That's why you have to pull the ear up. You're going to do the same thing to the other ear. You're going to put mole uh, glue on this ear. And you are going to peel this backing off. Put glue on the back of this. Can you hold the puppy's head again? And you're going to insert this in the ear and I slide it down like this in the ear and go deep down below the ear. Come on, get your face over here. You're gonna go deep down and that's what you're gonna do. And then I massage the ears outwards because I see that's perfect. You see how that sinker is not there no more? Because I pulled the ear up. Important, do not just put this mole foam here. You got to put it down below. This Bovi puppy's ears are not, they are not cut down below like boxers or else Dobermans. So that's why this, this mole foam has to go way down below. This is not part of the ear itself right here. The ear canal, I should say. So some people think that you hurt the puppy by putting this mole foam too deep. You can't. You put it as deep as you can on the bottom. Then you're going to take a piece of tape like this and you're going to just cut the edge, little piece here, and you're going to put it on the top of the ear very loosely. Do not put it really tight because if you put it too tight on the tip of the ear you could kill that ear circulation. So you don't want to do that. You want to just put it 
so it holds the mold foam there. It's okay, guy. I know. You want to play with your brothers. And you just put the, like this, and that's how you do it. And see how the ear is now? It's standing up tall, and you don't have that sinker. If you find you have a sinker going in, try to push that out. You don't want that ear sitting low, you want it sitting high. And that's about mold, mold foam taping.